Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sinet Television. Well, we've got something quite interesting for you today. Uh, in fact, over at the Portland Police Bureau's training complex, we sent our young Chris on a quest to take a look at the brand new Ford 2016 Interceptor. And he's going to be checking the vehicle out with Wade, our cameraman, and getting us all the facts, figures, and details on this brand new vehicle that's about to hit the streets pretty much around this very time. This actually was filmed yesterday on the 23rd of July, and today being the 24th of July, we're bringing it to you right now on Sinet Television. So let's go from me to Chris outside. Hi, I'm Chris, and thanks for joining us on Sirenet Television. It is a beautiful day here in Portland, Oregon. We were lucky enough to be able to attend a wonderful little event that's been put on by Ford. It is related to the police package vehicles, the Interceptor sedan and Interceptor utility. It lets us take a first-hand look at the new vehicle platform itself the ins, the outs, and also lets us take a chance to see the vehicles in action on the test track. So stay with us, it's gonna be a fun time. One of the platforms that's here is the 2016 Ford Utility Interceptor. It is the SUV platform. The 2016 has been redesigned from the body style that was the 2015. It has a new redesigned front fascia and also has been redesigned on the back end of the vehicle as well. The headlight buckets have been redesigned. They now are a different system than what you saw in the previous platform. So if you're familiar with the projector style lighting and the upper level blinker system and parking light that was in the 2015 platform, you'll notice that the headlight buckets are a completely new design. The bottom portion of the fascia redesigned as well. A great area for lighting product to be affixed on the new platform. So you can take products, have them inside the lighting fixture, or if you would like to have lighting surface mounted on the exterior, they can be affixed on the side of the lighting, wonderful intersection protection, or on the flat inset here, again, a wonderful place for mounting lighting. So here we are with another 2016 utility interceptor that's at the show. This has the blank insertion. So rather than the lower auxiliary lamp, it is a blank fascia insert. With the blank, it allows for easy mounting of lighting product. So for example, we have one of our Sirenet brands. This is our GL1 LED light head. It can be installed vertical onto the blank portion here, or for a horizontal mount, affixed onto the extension. With the redesign of the front fascia, center portion, lighting product has become quite easy to install on the front of these vehicles. Push bumpers will be available, or if you're not going to be adding one onto the front of the vehicle, lighting behind the honeycomb in the upper grill section, lighting can be mounted down low, so different levels, low, mid, or up above the Ford emblem, Lighting product from Wheel and Engineering, these are the Microns available from us here at Sirenet, are a wonderful compact light head to fit into the front grill. On these vehicles, there is actually a removable plastic pop-on for the grill. So remove the pop-on, take the Microns that you've got from us here at Sirenet, depending on the colors needed, snap them into the grill, wire them up, and wonderful protection to the front of your 2016 utility. On the utility interceptor and interceptor sedan alike, adding lighting products to the mirrors is a wonderful way to protect the vehicles. This happens to be a mirror beam kit with a wheel and ion LED light head, available for a wonderful off axis lighting on the vehicles, or depending on how you're setting them up, there is a wide variety of products that can be affixed to the bottom of the mirror for front and intersection protection. Also on the vehicle, it wouldn't be a police vehicle without it, is Unity Spotlights, available on the driver side and passenger side alike. And remember, for the spotlights, we do offer a wonderful selection of PAR46 LED light heads, part of our Sirenet brand, that can be used along with the spotlights.
On the back of the utility interceptor, there really hasn't been many significant changes to the rear fascia. We still have the upper hatch spoiler. Tail light assemblies have been redesigned, so there is a bit of a change here to these. As far as the main hatch itself, very similar to the 2015 body styled hatch. So with that, lighting product can work great, installed behind the glass, hung from the rear headliner, and also keep in mind on the bottom of the hatch when it's lifted up, obstructing your roof mounted products, LED light heads are wonderfully housed in the bottom of the hatch. So take a light head, recess grommet, pop them in, lighting protection on the rear end. The Ford Interceptor sedan platform, if you call it, is a wonderful vehicle for law enforcement use. It can be done up as a slick top vehicle or do a marked vehicle with a light bar on the roof. There is a wide variety of products available for the Interceptor. Lighting can be grafted onto the mirror, so an overlay kit or mounted on the underside of the mirror. Spotlights on the front driver and passenger side alike. On the fenders for side coverage, there is a wonderful variety of LED products that are designed to pop into the blank that comes on the sedan from Ford. Moving up to the front of the vehicle, the headlights make a wonderful place for LED hideaways to be installed. A neat thing that Ford has done on the headlights for the Interceptor is they have a blank in the side of the headlights, so there is already a pre-drilled hole. You'll remove the headlight assemblies from the front of the vehicle, driver side, passenger side alike, remove the blank, and with that removed, you can then take an LED hideaway, a twist lock style is available, that is specific for the police interceptors. LED hideaway inserts in place of the previous plug, locks into place, wire up the hideaways as needed, and you are ready to go. The large grille opening on the Interceptor is very accommodating of lighting products and speakers. Push bumpers can be added to the front end of both the sedan and the SUV, offering protection and placement for installation of lighting equipment and speakers as needed. At the rear of the Ford Interceptor, there are several different places that work great for the mounting of lighting equipment. Up top on the headliner, there is a set of wheel and ions that have been put into this sedan. Lighting product can be mounted up top, down low off the rear deck. You could do a combination of the two, increasing the lighting output on the back of the car. Moving down midship, the tail light assemblies can easily accommodate LED hideaways. They can go into the brake light portion, or if you would like to do them, you can do them in the reverse light housing as well. Getting down low to the car, if you would like to have low level lights affixed onto a license plate bracket, can be affixed onto the bumper. Well, what could be better? A beautiful day, beautiful vehicles from Ford, in-depth look at the utility interceptor and the interceptor sedan platform alike, taking them around the test track. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us here on SirenNet Television. We'll see you later. Well, thanks a million, Chris, for giving us an update on the Ford Interceptor 2016 model.
course, we had great pleasure and many thanks for the gang over at the Portland Police Bureau's training complex for letting us go across there and take a look at the vehicle. And a shout out, of course, to all the gang at Ford who were incredibly helpful in helping us put this video together. So hopefully you enjoyed the look. I'm Stuart. You've been watching Sign of Television. Thanks for watching.